he's nuts, right? <laughs> totally nuts. No tomorrow. Accurate, reliable, ABC 7, storm track weather. Now on Good Morning El Paso, the man who shot and killed three officers has been identified as a former Marine. The latest on the investigation from Baton Rouge. Happening today, dozens take the stage in support of Donald Trump and the GOP on the first day of the Republican National Convention. And new this morning, a program to help foster children succeed when they're on their own as adults. We have the details in a live report. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Got fire, officer down! Got fire, officer down! Baton Rouge, Louisiana is in mourning again. Less than two weeks after the police shooting death of a black man, the community is now grieving over the deaths of two city police officers and a sheriff's deputy. They were killed and three other officers were wounded yesterday as they responded to the report of a man with an assault rifle. We have new information this morning and we will get to the latest in a moment, but first, we want to get to our forecast. A very good morning to El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. A lot to cover this morning, but let's go ahead and start with the temperatures. This morning, right now, 80 degrees. We can't complain. No, and we really can't complain about the forecast later today either because it's a lot better than it was last week, Nicole. Much better, Stephanie. For the next few days, temperatures will be running above average but cooler than the temperatures we have seen, especially last week. Today, you can expect a chance for a few storms to pop up throughout the afternoon, occasional breezes as well, but all in all a nice day. I know over the weekend we did have some dusty conditions and some storms moved through overnight but as you can see most of that activity is now moving out towards the west. So our temperatures will be a little warm this afternoon. We're still talking above average temperatures so you're going to want to stay hydrated and make sure you keep that umbrella handy um, not only for the heat but also for those rain chances this afternoon. So we'll talk about those rain chances and we'll also get you out the door Las Cruces with your day planner coming up in just a few minutes. All right thanks so much. A lone gunman opened fire on police officers in Baton Rouge. Rouge. This happened on Sunday, killing three, wounding three others. Now the gunman, a former Marine from Kansas City, Chauncey Glover is in Baton Rouge now with new information this morning. Police targeted again. One subject, all black, carrying AR. Officers in Baton Rouge responding to reports of a gunman dressed in black were suddenly under fire. Walking right into the line of fire. I'm hit by the call on you. Two down back here, two down. Deputy down, deputy down. Trying to leave the scene, he was running, but he had an assault rifle in his hand. Reinforcements arrive. <laughs> and a fierce gunfight broke out. Officers engaged the subject at that particular time and he ultimately died at the scene. Three officers, Brad Garifola, Montrell Jackson, and Matthew Gerald, were all killed while three others were injured. ABC News has learned that the gunman had two firearms, an AR-type rifle and a semi-automatic pistol. Authorities are now searching the suspect's home in Kansas City. 29-year-old Gavin Eugene Long, an African-American military veteran who served five years in the Marines, including tours in Japan and Iraq. We as a nation have to be loud and clear that nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. This comes as Baton Rouge is still reeling from the killing of Alton Sterling, who was shot and killed during a struggle with police nearly two weeks ago, setting up nationwide protests. And as for those three wounded officers, I'm told they are still in the hospital this morning recovering. The family of Alton Sterling, as well as local protesters, are calling for a day of peace without any protesting so the city can mourn the loss of these officers. Chauncey Glover, ABC News, Baton Rouge. Happening today, Republicans from across the country will gather in Cleveland for the party's summer convention. Former presidential candidates Ted Cruz, Chris Christie, Scott Walker, and Marco Rubio are among those set to speak. Military leaders, members of Congress, actors, faith leaders, and family members of presumptive presidential nominee Donald Trump are also set to take the stage. We'll have more coverage of the convention coming up in just a bit, including the first sit-down interview with Trump and his running mate. 
A local organization is helping young adults who face extra challenges enter the workforce. Project Future places aged out foster children in internships to help them gain experience. We have Good Morning El Paso's Denise Olivas live with more on this story this morning. Denise. Good morning, Hillary. Ten young adults just completed a six-week paid internship in departments throughout the El Paso County Courthouse. Project Future was started five years ago by the El Paso Women's Bar Association. Many of the young adults face uh, have faced tougher challenges as they enter adulthood. Organizers of Project Future say aged out foster children face a higher risk of incarceration, homelessness, and unemployment. One young woman who just completed her internship says she's ready for the workforce thanks to Project Future. They are very supportive. They try to be there. They do help you out a lot and improving what you missed on parts and everything. It's such a wonderful experience. And Stephanie says that she hopes to return to the El Paso County Courthouse as an employee. She says that she wants to study criminal justice to one day become a detective. Back to you. All right, some good goals there. Thanks so much for that live report. And it's now 6.06, .06 and we are talking about our weather forecast. Nicole Gomez is standing by now with a preview. Hi, Nicole. Good morning, Stephanie and Hillary. Temperatures this morning in Las Cruces were off to a very comfortable start. And here's a look at your planner starting out at 7 o'clock. Notice those temperatures are in the 70s. By 9 o'clock, 80 degrees, a little warmer at 11 o'clock at 89. Temperatures will be cooler this afternoon. If you're stepping out right now, clear sky, 68 degrees, calm winds in the forecast. Your humidity is currently at 68. It will be a little humid throughout the afternoon today. El Paso, 80 degrees is your current temperature. Light winds in the forecast. Not quite as humid in El Paso. We're at 39%. Our ABC7 weather net site sponsored by the Mattress Firm showing mild temperatures out there in East El Paso. Mountainwood High School, you're at 76. Valley View, 77. And Presa Elementary School, 77 is your current temperature. Rain chances return to the seven-day forecast. Our temperatures will be closer to where they should be around this time of year, but still a little warm this afternoon. The week Again, those triple digits will return to the forecast. So we'll talk about those rain chances this afternoon and just how hot those temperatures will rise this weekend and what you can expect for the next seven days. Mauricio. Hey Nicole, good morning. No issues right now as we take a look at our ABC7 traffic flows. You can see green continues to flow across the map, so no problems going on there. No problems going on here in Las Cruces. Good morning to you. 63 miles per hour, I-10 West, 67 heading east, and Highway 70 open as well east of Las Cruces. So no issues going on over there. And as always, before you head out the door, be sure to download your ABC7 Storm Track weather and traffic app for all of your updates. You can get real-time updates with the weather and the traffic, so always good to check that out. Let's give you a live look outside now with our ABC7 Text Dot cameras. That's I-10 at Porfirio Diaz. No issues right now, but again, a whole lot of closures coming up this week, and in 10 minutes, I'll let you know about them. Get your pen and paper ready for those closures. Thanks, Mauricio. And we have more to come here on Good Morning El Paso. Details on two deadly crashes over the weekend here in the borderland. Plus, two families are picking up the pieces after a fire over the weekend. How officials say it started. It's 608, and this is ABC7, where news comes first. You're watching ABC7's Good Morning El Paso with Hillary Florin, Stephanie Valle, and live reports from Denise Olivas. My sweetheart's gone, sayonara. This scarf, all that's left to remember. What? She washed us like a month ago. The long lasting scent of game flames. Everybody, let's go. Oreo. Oreo, open up your wonders. You and me were born to see this world with our hearts closed. So let's live and wonder it with Oreo. Each year, 17 billion toilet paper tubes are used enough to fill the Empire State Building twice.